Hi Scorpio, welcome back to your second video for the how to series. So you've just, uh, if you wanted to, viewed the how to achieve your very best in 2018. And I hope that that reading helped a lot of you guys. It certainly, when I looked at it, it helped me a great deal. I loved that reading. I thought it was really, really good, really awesome. I'm hoping that you guys have found some form of, you know, enlightenment and inspiration through that reading. The other reading that we're going to look at now is the love reading, how to find real love uh, in 2018. Um, I'm not particularly looking for love for myself. I was involved with someone as you guys. And if you guys saw the, um, you know, how to find love uh, readings that I put out on the channel that are now down from the channel, uh, I started seeing someone myself in 2017 after a long time. I'm 45 years of age. I've been on my own 12 years without a boyfriend. I've been seeing someone seven years prior, but, um, you know, for about three to four years, didn't work out. He wasn't a boyfriend anyway. He was more of a sugar daddy, I guess you could say in a way. But um, if I'm being completely honest, I'm quite an open person if I want to be one, you know. But I was seeing, you know, I hadn't had a proper boyfriend in 12 years. Somebody came along. He wasn't the right person. I hold no anger, no, you know, anything towards this individual. He was who he was. It wasn't for me as an individual. Um, as a Scorpio, I know what my self-worth is. I've always valued myself as an individual. And if something isn't right for me, it's not right for me. Uh, thank God, the Lord, the universe, my family um, helped me out at that time. The pain when I let the person go didn't last very long because he wasn't right. Um... And my life has been just amazing. The business has really increased, um, you know, my subscribership. I'd like to get to 50,000 subscribers this year, God willing. Uh, everything has just become better and better. I've got so many wonderful plans this year for the channel, for the business, all the rest of it. I just love life. And I'm so grateful to the universe, to YouTube, everybody for your continued support. I love you guys dearly, which is why I put so much into these readings. I really do. And what I want you to, guys to do um, is look at this love reading now. And, why I, you know, if you still want me to do, as I've said, a, a live spread, the five areas, prediction readings for 2018, I can do because that includes love. If you still want me to put that out for each of the signs, I will probably do that. If you want me to do it, just let me know. But I really wanted to do advice readings because I think that it's the advice that's going to help a little bit more with individuals okay uh that come to these these uh this this channel scorpio so we're going to look at love and you, this is for any of you guys this isn't for you if you're in a really 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 happy relationship it's not i'm sorry it's just not for you this reading this relation this reading is for if you're in a relationship and you're not happy in the relationship and you want to find that true soulmate or if you're single and you want to find a true soulmate, okay? You want to find the true person, the person who's meant for you. Now, life has no guarantees. I've been on my own 12 years. I hope you guys don't mind me going on a little bit, but Scorp I'm Scorpio and you are my friends. You're my friends on YouTube and I've got a lot of people on YouTube on, on Scorpio, especially Scorpio, who love me and I love you equally because we're very similar people, you know. We're Scorpios. I'm double Scorpio part Aries. Some people are triple Scorpio. I wish I was a triple Scorpio. I'm a little bit jealous of that. But yeah, I mean, you know, we know what we, we know what Scorpio is like. We can be vengeful. We can be angry people. We can be bitchy, you know, we can be all of those things. But we are also extraordinarily honest people who seek honesty from others, who seek truth from others, especially in relationships. And if we can't get that from another individual, it's no play. That's especially, that's how I am. And I won't look back and I won't regret. For me, if I leave someone or I leave something, it's in the past. I'm not going to go back revisiting that. If I don't trust you, that's it. You're gone. I move on. I focus on other things. And I wanted to really do... A reading that's going to help you if you're in an unhealthy relationship and you want to find true love. This reading should help you to be able to do that. If you want to find a new relationship because you've been single for a while, this reading should be able to help you to do that. So, what we've got, we're using the Golden Tarot as the main uh, deck. We're using your advice cards, the Doreen Virtue and Radu Valentine Guardian Angel Tarot cards as advice. We're also using the Romance Angels Oracle cards for advice. And we're also going to use, I bought these, it's funny, on Amazon these were 45 quid. I found them for £12.99 on eBay. It's the Love Tarot, they're very rare actually, the Love Tarot 50 Ways to Divine Love. And they're all major arcana cards, so we're going to use 
uh, shuffle and pick out one of the major arcanas as a lesson for you, okay? For you to heed in 2018 concerning finding true love. So we're going to put those advice cards to... And we're doing the, the reading in the same format that we did the how to... Um, how to achieve your greatest in 2018, okay? Let's get this golden. I love this deck of cards. It's just beautiful. Just beautiful cards. Okay, so let's get this cap back on here. Put this to the side and let's have a look. Universe Spirit, how does Scorpio summon and rising signs? How will they find true love in 2018? How will Scorpio find true love in 2018? How will Scorpio find true love? Show me Scorpio. How will they find true love? Whoopsie daisy. In 2018, how is Scorpio going to try and find new love? How are they going to find true love? Just show me how Scorpio will find true love. If you want to mix up the cards, the universe will mix up the cards then. I think you're telling me to mix the cards up. Okay. All right. I hear you. You want me to mix up the cards, okay? That's fine. We can do that. I can feel by the way that you were letting me handle these cards, universe. You're asking me to mix them up. Okay. I've mixed them up, all right? I've done what you asked. All right, universe. There we go. Thank you. All right, so, so how do you see Scorpio universe? How will Scorpio find true love? What does Scorpio need to do to find true love? I need you to show me where everything is starting from in terms of love for Scorpio. What is the at the root foundation for Scorpio? What's happened in their lives in the foundation area? How has this impacted them in recent times concerning love in this area here? What is their goals for love in this area here? And how is this impacting their thought processes through 2018 in this area here? What is their challenge concerning love in this area here? And how can they overcome this challenge? How can Scorpio overcome this challenge in 2018 in this area here? What does Scorpio need to do to find true love coming in to area? I think it's area 7 here. Who is Scorpio concerning love in 2018 here? And what influences will come in that Scorpio may need to tackle or look at in this area here? Area 9. What are Scorpio's hopes or fears concerning love in 2018 here? And what's the overall advice you have for Scorpio universe in terms of finding love in 2018? Show me. All right, we're going to split the deck into three. One, two, three. We're going to collect this back up. And let's start laying the cards down. Okay, so this is your foundation. So this is where sort of everything is starting from. This is your, you know, distant past area, really. And what might have happened for some of you guys in the distant past. And this is how it's impacting you in stage two of your life. So we're looking at the impact area, how it's impacting you. This is what your goals are in terms of love. And this is how it's impacting your present. So this is where how it's impacting your thoughts, your energies concerning love uh, in 2018. Uh, so this is what, this will be what you're focusing on. This is what your challenge is concerning love in 2018. And this is about finding love. So this isn't trying to predict a relationship coming in. This is saying, well, how do you go about finding that perfect relationship? It might show a person, it might not, we'll see. And this is how you overcome this challenge in 2018. Um... Coming in, this is what you need to do to find true love in 2018. And this is how you guys will be approaching love and who you'll be in 2018 concerning your love lives. This is influences coming in that you guys will need to deal with in 2018 concerning love, Scorpio. This will be your hopes and desires or your hopes or fears concerning love in this area here. And this is the overall advice card for how you achieve true dedicated love in 2018. So, let's have a look at where everything has started from for Scorpio. The Five of Cups in the reverse. That's lovely. So, I think everything for you guys in 2018 has started from a point of positivity. Five of Cups in the reverse says you guys are releasing something here. And this is lovely. And, you know... The last reading that we did on you guys in for January... The first two weeks of January was time to move on and let go. And... Some people responded to that video with a, a, an enormous amount of vitriol. And I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, why are you so angry? Why are you so angry? Turn that fucking reading around, guys, before you start 
getting pissed off and saying, oh, this is, oh, this is, this is, the only way that people become angry is if their lives are a bit shitty or they don't feel very good about their lives and they think that the tower is some magical oracle that's going to give them. You can have a reading that tells you, Scorpio, that you're going to meet dark haired, six foot tall guy or girl in the next two weeks. And you very well, well may meet that person. But that person might turn out to be an asshole. Are you going to hold on to that person because some tarot reader told you you're going to meet them? No, you're not. Because you're a human being with free will. And with your own desires and your own expectations. Okay? So, what I'm trying to say is, is this is good. Because in your foundation, this is all about releasing what is no longer needed. This is about recovery. And I'm seeing that where everything is starting is that a lot of you guys have started to recover. So, following on from that reading, January 2018, where you said you need to move on for some of you guys. Maybe some of you guys have heeded that reading and you're starting to recover. Because in your foundation, you guys are starting to recover. You're starting to overcome hurt and pain with the Five of Cups in the reverse. You're starting to transition and you're starting to look forward to the future with the Five of Cups. Remember, the Fives represent change after a very turbulent period. But really, the change is with the reversal. Because this is, remember, when we do reversals, they are the uh, rever they are the um, uh, the opposite of the upright, but they're also the absence of the energy. So the opposite of the Five of Cups, Five of Cups in the upright is all about loss, pain, regret, sadness. In the reverse, it's about recovery. Five of Cups in the upright is all about sadness, depression. In the reverse, it's the absence of sadness and depression. So some of you guys are really starting to recover here. So in your foundation, this is all about recovery from a, probably a very difficult situation some of you guys went through uh, prior to 2018. You guys are ready to recover in your foundation. And how that's evolving in the sex. So this is the first stage, which is a really positive stage. I'm so happy to see that card. It's beautiful. And I think that as a result of that, how things have been evolving next stage for you guys in 2018 is the five of coins. So I feel that you know you guys have experienced the five of coins. You've been... And this is in the upright. So you've been recovering five of coin cups in the reverse in your foundation. And as a result of that, you guys are looking to close the door. Because the five of coins is all about shutting out, abandoning, leaving. This is you guys looking to close the door on a situation here with this five of coins energy. Because your goals for love in 2018, Scorpio, are the high priestess. And this is to find a very strong psychic soul deep connection now that's funny because your goals in your um how to achieve reading was the high priestess in the reverse <laughs> and she's come up as the high priestess in the upright now i don't think that this is this is all about remember the reading is focused on about how do you find true love so you guys that are looking for this reading who have come to this reading it won't be because you don't want love it'll be because you want to know how you find it because this cat lady can be somebody who wants to be, she's, she's Greta Garbo, I want to be alone, is the high priestess. She's aloof, she's shut down, she's cut off. But she can also be a very deeply, she's, she, there are several spiritual cards in the tarot, high priestess is one, magician is, can possibly be a spiritual card, the sun can be spiritual, the moon can be spiritual, um, the hierophant can be uh, a spiritual card, temperance is definitely a spiritual card. You know, this is a spiritual. Some of you guys, I feel that the hopes are, your goals are to find a spiritual connection with an individual. You get high priestess and two of cups. This can be a spiritual connection. So I think you guys are looking for a spiritual connection. Your goals are to find something that is deeper. Deeper than the external. You know, this isn't just to find an empress relationship where there's sensuality and attraction and... Uh, you know, it's all about beauty and, you know, uh, nurturing. This is about literally finding a very, very deep, deep spiritual connection, getting behind the veil of an individual. And I think that your goals are to find a very deep spiritually connected. So maybe we could look at this as being a very strong soulmate energy as well. Because when you get soulmate energy, the card that you want to look at for a soulmate connection is the lover's. Because the lover's card is all about sacrifices. The lover's card, one of the um, stories with the lover's card is about uh, Zeus. And he had, I think he had two sons. Pardon me if it's a story slightly wrong. I hope it's not. But this is what I remember of it. Zeus had two sons. He had twins. And one was born immortal and one was mortal. And the immortal child basically 
gave his immortality up, I think it's to live on earth with his mortal brother. Because he loved him so much. So the lover's card is all about deep, deep, deep love. You know, you can get the lover's card with sisters, brothers, parents, work. If you love something so deeply, that's your lover's. My twin sister is the person that I love the most. And we're also twins. So Gemini rules the lovers, the sign of the twins. You know? I have a very, very, very strong connection with my twin sister. I love her more than anybody else on this earth, besides my little niece, Ella, who is her daughter. You know? We have a deep psychological, spiritual connection. If something's wrong with my twin, I'll dream it. If she, if she sees something's going to go wrong with me, she will dream it. If she sees success coming in for me, she'll dream it. If I see success coming in for her, I'll dream her. I'll tell her about the dream and then it will come true. We're very prophetic. We like our mum. Our mum used to have a lot of prophetic dreams. Me and my twin sister picked up on that. We were able to dream stuff and it would just happen like that. This is the high priestess energy. It's making that connection that goes beyond words because she doesn't speak. But she's terribly intuitive. So your goals are to find a relationship that is terribly, terribly connected. It goes beyond words. It goes beyond the physical. It goes beyond the material. It goes beyond the sexual. It's something that has been refined and is completely connected on all levels. This is what I feel the goals are for you guys in finding love in 2018. And as a result of that, your focus will be on the Queen of Swords. Now, the Queen of Swords is interesting because the Queen of Swords in terms of love often means um, often means to cut people out. And I don't think you guys are looking to cut anybody out because this is about how you find true love. So therefore, we have to look at the cards in terms of love. So if your focus is on the Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords, remember... She's in control. So the focus. Well, how can we say the Queen of Swords is you're going to be your focus concerning finding true love? So this might be finding out who you are. Finding out what makes you tick. Because she's somebody who's in control. She's somebody who says, yes, I'll allow you to come into my life. Or no, I don't want you in it. That's what the Queen of Swords is. But also the Queen of Swords cuts people out. So your focus for 2018 might be on... Uh, being hard ass concerning love. So if somebody new comes in and you know that they're not the real deal, instead of letting them come into your life, you'd be like, at the first instance, no, fuck off, not interesting, next. That's what the Queen of Swords is. It's about making very, very important decisions based on logic. And I feel that you're very controlled in terms of what you want in terms of love, Scorpio, because your goal is to have a deep, deep, deep spiritual connection with an individual with that high priestess energy and as a result of that you will be focusing on the queen of swords energy so you'll be focusing on making this happen but this is all based on ideas this is all based on what you allow in and what you don't allow in so this is almost like some form of boot camp you'll be very militant i'm getting the, the feeling that scorpios are going to be very militant in terms of finding love because the swords aren't romantic. The swords are about being more practical. And with a queen of swords, she's the type of person who'll say, okay, so if I want love, I have a criteria for the type of person that I want. And if that person doesn't fulfill this, she's, she's not a fantasist. So she, she doesn't have a fantasy for love. She has a criteria. Some of you guys might be middle-aged. You might be in your 40s like me, you know. You might be in your 30s and you're thinking more... Um, sensibly, because she's a sensible woman, more logically, more rationally about the type of partner that you want. So rather than being a teenager in maybe your 20s and saying, oh, I want someone to sweep me off my feet and I want us to go horseback riding down the Alps or whatever. The, well, you probably wouldn't go down the Alps horseback riding, riding, you'd be dead. It's all slippery down there, isn't it? You'd be more grown up with a queen of swords concerning love. Because you'd have a criteria with the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords always has a criteria. Because that's just how she rolls. She's not a fantasist. She's not even particularly romantic. And I think that you are. I think that, you know, for Scorpio, looking at this reading so far, Scorpio, this isn't about finding romance, the romance of a lifetime. This is all about finding the soulmate, the connection. There's a difference. 
there is a difference. Of course, we all like to be wined and dined. Of course, we do. When we get involved with people, Scorpio, we want to go out and we want to be out. You know, we want to dress up and put nice makeup on as women and dress nicely and smell good as men as well. And, you know, you want to get to know that person. It's really exciting forming that bond and doing all of that nice stuff. And, of course, everybody wants a bit of romance. We all do. But you can't live in romance. Because romance does not sustain itself. You can do romantic things between you and your partner going forward. But it's hard when you have the babies, when you've got the mortgage, when you've got to live life normally. Romance can peter out. But what will always sustain itself is connection. Mental, physical, cycle, circuit connection. That's what will always sustain itself through a relationship. And that's what you guys are looking for with the high priestess. You're looking beyond the veil. You're not looking for, I don't think your goals are to have a purely romantic uh, relationship where it's all about, you know, oh, he loves me, he loves me not, he loves me, he loves... It's not that kind of thing for Scorpio because it goes deeper than that with the High Priestess. This isn't all about, well, my goals are to have someone who I'm going to, you know, marry and we're going to have X amount of kids and it's going to be just wonderful and all. It's not like that. It's more about, well, my goals are to find someone who I connect with on all levels with the High Priestess. We might share a love of literature, for example. We might share a love of the spiritual, for example. We might share, um, you know, a love of uh, psychology, for example. We share a love of many things, but it goes beyond the veil. It goes beyond the surface, does the High Priestess, because she's talking about hidden knowledge. So your hopes are to get to the, the depths of an individual. Your goals are to get a relationship, to have a relationship that has far deeper layers than just having a relationship with someone in which, you know, it's romantic or whatever it is. It's a deeper layer you're looking for. And as a result of that, your focus will be on being the queen of swords and i believe that your focus as the queen of swords is about you making some very strategic important decisions as to what you will have coming into your life and what you won't have what you will allow and what you won't allow in terms of having that connection here because your challenge scorpio is the five of wands and this is about having relationships in which there are always disputes because that's what the five of wands is you get involved in a relationship and you got a dispute with your partner and you've got problems with the partner the partner's always you know it's a log ahead you know but I want commitment partner and the partner says but I'm not ready for commitment but I do like you that's what the partner will say I do like you Scorpio but I'm not ready for commitment and you're like well if we like each other why can't we have commitment and it's always that clash and your challenge is that you're always getting into relationships with some of you Scorpios in which there is a clash there is a clash in attitudes, a clash in desires, a clash in what you want, where you're going, where you're moving forward, how you're moving forward in love, Scorpio. And that's the problem. And that's why you're resolute here. This is why you're very strategic in terms of finding that spiritual connection because there's always a clash going on. And in your foundation, it's like, uh -uh -uh, no, we're not doing this anymore. I have resolved this situation emotionally. I'm entering a new phase with the Five of Cups in the reverse. In my foundation. And you know what? What I've done as a result of that is I've abandoned someone. I've blocked them out. Because I am. My goals for 2018 are a deeper level of love. A deeper spiritual connection. However, my focus to get this will be the Queen of Swords. And this will be, hmm, okay, I'll give you a chance. Oh, right. Okay, so you want to be a bit of a player? No. See ya. Bye. Next. That's Queen of Swords for you. Because your challenge is, I'm always getting into... I'm always getting these relationships where me and this person are at loggerheads. There's disputes. There's problems. There might be other people around. But in stage three, how you overcome this challenge in order to find true love is to focus on what your self-worth is. Nine of Coins. This isn't about being independent. This is saying, but this is how it's done. This is what I want. Nine of coins. This is what I want. I know who I am. I'm not afraid to be on my own. I'm cool with it, man. I'm a nine of coins, bitch. I'm cool. And because I'm happy in my own environment, with my work, with my career, 
with my pretty little things, with my face, with my body, I'm okay. You might not be. Who knows? But I'm okay. Nine of coins. I'm doing all right. I know what my self-worth is. And that's how I overcome this challenge. Because the nine of coins says, no compromises, darling. I want, in my challenge, I want a commitment. You don't. And yet you say you want me. But you don't want the commitment. But I want you. And I want the commitment. But you say you want me. But you don't want the commitment. Clash. Challenge. However, 2018, how am I going to overcome these clashes from the past? Stand in my motherfucking power. Sorry for swearing, guys. I stand in my power. Nine of coins. I stand in my power. I know what my value. Remember, pentacles represent value. And I've got value in droves. I know what my personal value is. As a metaphor, the nine of coins is all about your personal value. It doesn't necessarily have to be money. It can just mean your value as an individual. I value who I am, nine of coins. Coming in, you guys, in stage four, will have to give somebody a chance, six of coins. So you're going to have to take a risk with the six of coins energy. And I think that you'd be ready to do it. Because from here, in stage three, you block someone out. Because you've recovered. You know who you are. You've healed five of cups. And as a result of that, in recent times, you've blocked this individual out. You've abandoned the individual. You've shut the door on the individual. Because you want a deep spiritual connection. And you're going to be damn well strategic in finding that. This is no longer playing, playing Mr. Nice Guy or Miss Nice Girl. This is, yeah, I've got suitors that come in. Let me test you. Let me put you through the ringer like we're doing flaming American Idol or Britain's Got Talent. Let me put you on a little bit of a platform here and see what you're about. Sing for me. Let me see if I like your tune. And then I'll decide with the Queen of Swords energy whether you're good enough for me or not. Because I'm done with having these clashes in my life. And the only way I'm going to overcome problems in my relationships is by recognizing and standing in my strength and my own value and not compromising on that. And even if it's somebody I really like, if you ain't good enough for me, you know where the door is. But stage four says you're going to have to, with the six of coins, give someone a chance. However, the six of coins is saying, well, play the field. So for some of you guys, stage four is playing the field. Six of coins. Remember, with these cards, look at the symbols. Scorpio on the cards. Some people, I've never read the six of coins as give and take. Some people might say the next stage is that you're going to have to give and do a bit of give and take. I don't believe that's the case. Why would you do give and take if somebody didn't want to have a commitment and you wanted a commitment? You either have a committed relationship or you don't. If you both don't want a committed relationship, fine. But if one of you wants commitment and the other one does, that's not fair. Because it means that if you give in to the individual Scorpio, you're having to compromise with what they want. But you're not getting what you want. No compromises. This isn't for me a give and take card. It can be, I guess. But for me, we got two people, and I always look at the card. This is why I like card figures on them. There's two people on this card. This person is giving to this person one moment, but he's also got something else in reserve for somebody else. So for me, this card is saying the next stage in finding love is see what's out there. Six of coins. Give a brother a chance, but then give another brother a chance, you know. Give a sister a chance, but then give another sister a chance. Don't be afraid to play the field and see what is it, whatever is out there that stirs you. In other words, if one person comes along and you like that person, don't think that they're the only person, Scorpio, in 2018. Keep your options open, basically, with this Six of Coins. So the next stage is keeping your options open. Because you guys in 2018, in terms of love, while well, you're the Queen of Wands, you know that you're beautiful, male or female. You know you're gorgeous, Scorpio. You know that you're well-dressed. If you're a woman, you might wear wear makeup. You might not wear makeup. But you know that you like to look good. You might like to have your nails done. 
I don't personally do my nails. I might start doing that though this year. I just feel like doing a lot of stuff. Like I feel many Scorpios may do. But you're beautiful. You're assertive. You're ambitious. You're glowing. You're attractive. You're intelligent. You know that you got it going on, Scorpio. Queen of Wands. You know you got it going on. You know you got it going on with that Queen of Wands. She always does. She always does. She's probably the best queen that you can get. All of the queens are great. I love Queen of Swords. She ain't afraid of no shit. And she is like Simon Cowell. Think of Simon Cowell and you got Queen of Swords. But you are the Queen of Wands in 2018. Beautiful, assertive, intelligent, clever, wonderful, attractive to the same sex, to the opposite sex. You stand head and above it. Head and shoulders above everyone else, and you damn well know it. You will not take any competitors because you know that you're the ish, Queen of Wands. Coming in, what will you need to deal with in terms of love? You'll need to deal with a Knight of Wands. <laughs> Sorry. Play the field. Keep your options open. Six of coins. Which is what essentially this card can be. Keeping those options open, Scorpio. Because what you might need to tackle is a Knight of Wands. Now, I don't want to be nasty about the Knight of Wands. Because Knight of Wands can be good. This is somebody who will pursue you. Some of you guys, you might find that there is a Sagittarius Leo. Aries individual. Could be Sagittarius. Or there's just somebody who's really geared up. It might be if you're in your 40s or your 30s. No, 40s mainly. This person might be younger than you. Because knights tend to go up to the age of, I think, 30. And then you become a king. From the age of 30, 35, you become a king. So this person is probably early 30s to mid 30s coming in for some of you guys male or female might be somebody younger if you're in your 20s it might be somebody around your age slightly older nevertheless he shows as a knight of wands and i'm not keen on knight of wands all the time to be honest with you because this is somebody who pursues love and they pursue sex and passion and you know and mo you know and all of the goodness and all of the excitement in love that's what night of so you might experience such a person as, as this somebody who's highly enthusiastic and motivated to get to know you and that's someone you're going to have to deal with your hopes will be or fears well your hopes are the three of wands your hopes in 2018 will be to start launching new relationships but also to start broadening your horizons getting out there and it fits in tandem with this where you're keeping your options open so the next stage stage four is where you start keeping your options open around suitors because your hopes are to start broadening your horizons with the different people you allow to come into your life in terms of love in 2018 the outcome the advice for finding true love in 2018 scorpio is the magician now, the Magician doesn't tell you a lot. Not really. It's a great card. You had it in your last reading, actually. But the Magician says, whatever it is that you... Because this Knight of Wands is what you'll experience coming in. This is a person, I believe, that some of you guys will experience coming in. And as a result of that, the advice to finding true love, probably with this Knight of Wands, is the Magician. Possibly just to start communicating, building a rapport with this individual. Because the magician is all about building momentum. So I'm not saying this will be the person for you. But somebody's coming in. Knight of Wands doesn't always mean a player. Sometimes it can just say what you experience is somebody is coming in. This could be a traveller, somebody from afar. Because he likes to travel. He or she likes to travel. So somebody's coming in. This is what you'd experience as a Knight of Wands. Somebody coming in from afar. Might be younger, might be slightly older than you. But as a result of that, the best way to start manifesting and start building and finding true love with this person is with the magician. Start building up some form of a momentum with this individual. Because the magician is all about creating magic. It's also communication. Start talking. I'm not telling you to manipulate the situation which magicians can be. But the magician is all about acting on our desires. And that can be in any way because it's a fairly neutral card. Start building momentum, talking, communicating, creating 
an existence whereby you allow the space to allow this relationship or whatever it is, whoever this Knight of Wands is, to start manifesting in the way that you want it to manifest. Now, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. If it works out, it works out. But don't be afraid. The overall outcome is you're the magician. So the advice is you are the magician. You can manipulate this situation, not in a bad way, but you can manipulate it in the way that you want to manipulate it. So really, the universe is leaving this open for you. I'm going to see what shows with this magician. Because it's the advice for what you need to do to create or to have real love come in. You've got the fool in the reverse. Now, that's interesting because one card tells you to start and the other one tells you to stop. The fool in the reverse is the absence of fear. I mean, the absence of fearlessness and the absence of confidence. I'm just going to think about those two for a moment. I think that some of you guys will be cautious because we're asking why we've got the magician and it's because of the fall in the reverse. So this suggests some of you guys might be a little bit cautious around that Knight of Wands coming in. But it's telling you, I think, with the magician energy to work with what your desires are. Now, that magician, as I say, is a neutral card for me because it says, it doesn't say, well, you know, because this is the advice that you're getting. How do you start to find real love in 2018? The overall outcome is the magician. Now, the magician as a person, as an energy, is telling you to start the manifesting process. Anything that you put your time and your energy into will start manifesting and growing. Anything that you pay your attention on will start to expand. But it's coming off the back of here because here it's telling you that stage four for finding true love is really just to play the field, to keep your options open. No expectations. Don't focus on, oh, well, I want uh, this person. He or she's got to be six foot five, dark haired, good looking, amazing job, able to take care of me, big house in London or L.A. or wherever it is. It's not saying, it's saying, look, just keep your options open, Scorpio. And see what happens. Because what you'll experience coming in is a night of wands. Someone is coming in here. I'm not saying whether they're good or bad. And the overall outcome from how you manifest or how you have true love, perhaps as a result of that night of wands, is by building. I think this is all about building momentum with this individual. Because I feel that there is something. It's either that you need to be cautious or you guys will be cautious because this person is younger or possibly they're a bit of a jack the lad. Who knows what this person is? It might even be, well, you know what? You've just got to go with what your intuition tells you with that magician area here. If you are cautious with the night, with the full energy. I feel that you guys really need to bend this situation. Because here we've got this Queen of Swords. Let's go through this reading again. I think I know where it's going. But the tarot is nuanced, Scorpio. So it's not cut and dried. The universe bends to your will as the magician. So anything that you want to manifest, the magician in the upright says, look, if you think bad thoughts, you get bad things back. If you think positive thoughts, you get positive things back. If you want to start a relationship with this Knight of Wands, you'll start it with the Magician. If you don't want to start a relationship with the Knight of Wands, you won't start it with the Magician. Because the universe bends to your will. Because you are the universe, the Magician energy. So how do you find true love with the Magician in this reading? You need to bend to your own will and pay attention to what your own desires are. So if this Knight of Wands should come in, and they're a total prat. What do you do as a result of them? What is the advice to finding true love with the magician? Follow your own path, your own destiny with the magician energy if you are cautious about starting anything with this individual. Because the, night, the fall in the reverse means to be cautious. But the fall in the reverse can say that something is at the very beginning phase. Now... Let me just get my bearings with reversals because later stage, which is what this is, because it's the overall outcome. This is 
beginning now this is later stage here this is early stage and this is later stage so this is early the early stage of a reversal really is saying that you're starting to pass through the latter stage of something of a reversal I don't know whether I've got that right or not to be perfectly honest with you I just need to find um, I was making notes on this the other day actually because it's important when you're looking at reversals to be perfectly honest with you I hope you don't mind and I'm doing this live on screen I know but often I would look at the notes You know, the fall in the reverse reminds me here of being at a very early stage. So I think it's really saying how you start to develop real, true relationships is by building momentum with that magician because something is either... There's two ways that I'm looking at this, to be perfectly honest with you, Scorpio. Two ways. Two ways I'm looking at this outcome. And one is that the advice is saying, look, and I think the magician stands the same as it will always do in this reading, and that is to build momentum. No, one way okay first way build momentum so if you experience this night of one someone coming in the overall outcome advice is well as a result of that individual how do you start to find real love build real love with maybe this individual here well it could be that this is individuals a very good individual and therefore you start to build momentum with this individual magician because the relationship is at a very, very early stage. It's practically non-existent with the fall in the reverse. So therefore, what you're doing is really starting out maybe as friends and building the relationship that way. For some of you guys, if this Knight of Wands comes in and you're kind of like, Ugh, maybe a bit of a player, it could be, well, you are in charge of bending this relationship, manipulating this relationship to your will. If you want to stay in it, stay in it. If you don't, don't. It might be saying, well, start something else. Magician energy, because magician means to start. Act on your desires. Act on your intuition if you're cautious. Two ways I'm looking. Very, very interesting. Let's go back to the beginning of the reading. And the reading is about how does Scorpio find true love in 2018? Whether you're in a relationship with someone that you're unhappy with or you're wanting to find true love. So right now, you guys in 2018 are the Queen of Wands. You are assertive. You're intelligent. You're beautiful. You're ambitious. You're motivated. You're not afraid. You know what your self-worth is with the Queen of Wands energy. You know how intelligent and wonderful you are as people, Scorpio. And that's because in your foundation, you guys have overcome a pretty painful situation. You're getting over it. You're starting to recover with the Five of Cups in reverse. And as a result of that, this is stage one. In stage two, you guys, as a result of this, have abandoned and blocked out an individual that you there was a great deal of lack with great deal of instability with because your goal is to find a deep connection with an individual high priestess and as a result of that you will with this queen of swords filter out what you consider to be bad or good in 2018 this will be a very militant process because a lot of you guys ain't got time to be allowing every Tom, Dick and Harry into your life. This is about you focusing on filtering out what is good and what is bad. And this is more about intuition. Because remember, she's a counsellor and she's a healer within the tarot. Is the Queen of Swords. So she's as intuitive as a Queen of Wands or a Queen of Cups would be. Your focus for love in 2018 is about taking control. And getting to the heart and the truth of who is real and who is not. Because your challenge is you've got too much conflict going on. You've had too much conflict in relationships with partners who say they want one thing, but then might come back and say they want another. You might want one thing, but the partner is not on the same page. And as a result of that, in stage three, 
how you resolve this is by standing in your power nine of coins showing who you are acting on your own value knowing your own value and then acting that if somebody says to you well you know i like you of course i do you know what i mean i want us to be together but right now i don't want commitment after say eight months of dating and you're like hang on a minute but you've introduced me to your parents uh you've introduced me to your son you've done all of this stuff and you're still saying you don't want commitment but what's going on here i thought that we were going to do this and the other this will say no compromises, nine of coins. I know what my value is. And I'm a woman or a man of high value. So I expect with the nine of coins to be treated as such. I expect to be treated. I'm not showing as a queen. But I damn well expect to be treated as one. Stage four means, well, in order to get this. Because your challenges clash with partnerships. And how you resolve that is by standing in your value, understanding what your value is. So even if you've got to let someone go, you've got to let them go. Because in stage four, how you start to find real love is by six of coins. Keeping your options open. Don't just take any old Tom, Dick and Harry because you're thinking, fuck, I'm 55 and this person's come along. And you know what? They're kind of nice to me, so I think I'll take them. No. Play the field. Keep your options open. Dine out with different suitors to find out what you want. Because remember, your focus will be the Queen of Swords. And that is cutting out. Sorting the wheat from the chaff. Remember, the sword is a tool to cut. So your energy around you guys is about sorting the wheat from the chaff. And the only way that you're able to sort the wheat from the chaff is by keeping your options open and seeing what's out there. Because coming in, what you guys will need to deal with is a Knight of Wands. Now, this could be a very passionate individual. This might be a traveller, somebody from afar. But it could also be somebody who comes in with all of the fanfare and all of the excitement and tells you all of the wonderful things. Remember, Knight of Wands is bold. Got the gift of the gab. Really charismatic. Can talk the hind legs of a donkey. But your hopes will be the Three of Wands. Your hopes are to broaden your horizons. Your hopes are to build a future with the Three of Wands with an individual. And therefore, the advice in the outcome is either build momentum with this individual, if this is someone you really like. Build that momentum with the magician energy, because this relationship hasn't even started. So you're going to really need to build a friendship. For some of you guys, you know, you might be used to getting, you know, swept off your feet, as the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cups can do. But be careful with being swept off your feet, Scorpio, in 2018. Because Knight of Wands can easily turn into this. So he can go from, oh my God, I want us to go to Paris and I want us to go all over the world and I want us to do this and I want us to get married and blah, blah, to being this. Uh, I don't know, you know. Jeez, um, I've just got so much work on. I'm so busy, you know. Can we just put the brakes on that? He breaks promises in the reverse. He doesn't see things through like the Knight of Cups gets bored be careful because he can easily turn from that to that you got someone coming that sweeps you off your feet scorpio in 2018 build momentum with this individual because you don't know who they are falling the reverse this isn't even anything this isn't the start of anything just yet it's very 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 early stage it's a seed it's just been implanted. You've got to watch it grow. You've got to nurture it. So build the momentum with the magician. Start nurturing it. Like the Empress would. Because this is very, very early stage. If this is somebody that comes in, Scorpio, again, sweeps you off your feet, and you don't particularly like Knight of Wands, and you're always a little bit, mm, not sure, You are in a position of power, the magician. To start new relationships. To meet new people with that magician. If you feel cautious. It's all in your control in 2018. That's how you find true love. It's all about you, Scorpio. It's all about what you want. It's all about what you want. 
This is also about paying. This is what you want. You want Scorpio, the high priestess. Your goal is to achieve a relationship that goes beyond the physical. That goes beyond the looks. That goes beyond the beauty of the person. That goes beyond what they've got. It's all about the deeper layers of a relationship. Connecting in a very strong spiritual sense with the individual. And that's why you're doing this. You're doing your Sam and Cowell. Next, let's hear your song. Hmm, sounds pretty good, but you know what? Don't really like it. See ya next. That's what Queen of Swords does. This is why your focus will be to strategize, but also to find the truth. To cut the wheat from the chaff. And how do you do that? Stage four. Keeping your options open. Six of coins. Knight of Wands comes in. Fanfare. Telling you how much he or she can do and how wonderful you are both going to be. And let's go on holiday. Let's do this. Build momentum because you don't know who this person is yet. It's very early stages. So build that momentum through communication. And through the exchange of ideas, magician. Because you don't know who this person is. It's too early stage. Person comes in, Knight of Wands, and you're like, hmm, a little bit of a player, is it? You have the choice with the magician to start building other dreams if you're too cautious to pursue this one with the fall in the reverse. How do you find real love in 2018? It starts here. You know what your value is. Knight of Coins, stage three. That's where it's at. Anybody can keep their options open, but what is your value as a woman, as a man? What do you value about yourself? Because whatever it is that you value, the person that comes in has also got to value. So here, at the head, is where you need to be. How do you develop real love? How do you find real love? It's sticking to your guns. Stick to your guns. Stick to your self-belief. Stick to what it is that you value about yourself. Because if that person should come in and they're feeding you all of this stuff with the Knight of Wands energy, as he can do, he's a bragger, remember? He's gift of the gab guy. He's very excitable, can also be a narcissist in the upright. I'm not saying this is what you'll meet. Don't get me twisted. But can come in with a lot of fanfare. And it might not be all that bad. But build momentum because you don't know who this individual is. It's too early to say. Fall in the reverse. You know what your value is, Scorpio. So person comes in. If they don't adhere to what you want, you have the power to change that, to move forward onto something else, if you're too cautious. It's all in your hands. The power to find true love in 2018 is in Scorpio's hands. But it's up to you to define and to manipulate and bend this situation to your will let's have a look at what the advice readings are firstly in the angel romance angel oracle cards universe spirit what is the advice through the angel oracle cards that you have for scorpio for love in 2018 in terms of how they find true love what is the advice what is the advice sorry i never pick out cards that just flip out like that they always got to come out from the top what is the advice that you have for Scorpio for love in 2018? Show me and finding true love. Trust. So the first thing is it's calling for trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Is it faith in the person or is it faith in yourself? If you want to build momentum with the magician because it's at its very early stages, you might just trust in this knight of wands, whoever it is that comes in. But it's calling for you to have faith. You want a deep relationship. That's your goal. And that's why your focus is on the Queen of Swords. I don't believe that this is suspicion. I believe this is cutting out the wheat from the shaft. Because in your foundation you've recovered. And you've cut somebody out that no longer serves you. But your challenge is you're always having disputes in relationships. And the only way that you overcome those disputes is by standing in your power. So I would say that the angels are saying... That the situation for finding true love requires your trust. Trusting in yourself and what your beliefs are with the trust energy showing there. From the angel, guardian angel tarot cards. 
I might need that, but I don't think I need the booklet for that. What is the advice, universe, that you have for Scorpio on this love reading? With the Guardio, Guardian Angel Tarot cards from Doreen Virtue. What is the advice that you have for Scorpio on trying to find true love in 2018? Show me. Positive recognition. And it says... Congratulations, your plans have worked out perfectly and now it's your time to shine. Brilliant news ideas will present themselves to you and success is all but assured. Express yourself openly and honestly, knowing that those surrounding you are trustworthy. Be open to unexpected opportunities. Brilliant. Again, the trust issue comes up here. I think you need to trust yourself in 2018 to make positive choices. And I also feel that you ought to kind of go in with a sense of unexpectation. So go in with the, you know, expect the unexpected. Okay, so this isn't a time to doubt love or doubt yourselves. Trust in yourselves, in your own perceptions, in your own beliefs, in your own value of oneself. But also go into love, finding love in terms of unexpected energy. Don't expect too much. Don't expect too little. Just remain neutral on love for the year. Because you'd never know what can surprise you. And finally, we're going to use the Majors. This was a deck that I bought the other day, which I really like. And what is the lesson or the advice that you have for Scorpio Universe through the Major cards? What is the, Which Major card is the advice for Scorpio in terms of finding love in 2018? Show me. Oh my God, it keeps coming up with faith. You've got trust here. Positive recognition, stroke trust here, and it's telling you to have faith. That's incredible. Let me just see what faith says. That's incredible. It's telling you to have faith, Scorpio. Seriously, have faith. Have faith. Because it will come. It will come. But when it comes, the baton is held on to you. It's passed on to you, Scorpio. What are you going to do when love comes in in 2018? How are you going to do it? Because if you are needy, or if you are, you know, you've been through bad experiences and suddenly you meet someone and you're like, oh my God, they've got to be the one in this. Don't put too many expectations, I feel. I feel that you're not to put too many expectations. Manipulate the situation because it's new. The magician is a manipulator. You can bend things to your will. So really, I feel this is saying the overall outcome with the magician is the advice for finding true love is to build the momentum and manipulate the situation to your will because it's new, it's in its early phase. You can bend this to how you want to bend it. You don't have to play to somebody else's tune because you feel, well, you know, if this person calls me to go out, I am always should go out. Don't do that. Give yourself space and time to develop this thing with whoever this person is. Find out truly who they are because that's what you want to do here. This is where your focus will be. Let's have a look at the faith card and what the advice is here. And this is card number... Let's have a look. There you go. When upright, if you are looking for love, although you may have long ago given up on the idea that your perfect match exists, there is someone out there just for you. A kind-hearted person restores your self-belief and faith in others. Whatever your situation, faith and fidelity are cause for celebration. Have faith, because it will come. Love will come in 2018 for many of you. For many of you. But the advice is, build momentum with the magician. Manipulate, not negative manipulation, but bend it. Remember, the magician is a manifester and he's able, he is indeed energy itself. He's able to bend the energy of a situation to his will, contort it, build it, nurture it. That's what magicians can do because they manifest. These are advice. With the magician, you're manifesting, but you're also taking action and building momentum with magicians. So talk, communicate with the magician, build up momentum build the relationship at your own time and your own pace because this is going to be something that is in its very early phase almost infancy almost non-recognizable as yet with the magician in the reverse it's a seed it's not yet to ready to be born so take your time to develop it the magician is a developer take your time to develop 
this relationship if it should come in with this knight of wands for some of you guys because it's going to take time it's it, it's very 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 early stage it's just a seed it is the egg that has been fertilized magician in the reverse and it's not ready to be born this is something that you will have to work on build up momentum over nurture look after if somebody comes in you don't think it's right for you have faith have trust in yourself and faith in yourself that the right person will come in because you will have positive recognition for who you are either way whether this is the person that's right for you or not right for you if they're not right it's fine magician advice magician you have the ability to manifest so much more because you have learned the lesson with the fall in the reverse that you always look before you leap it's in your control for love in 2018 take the lessons that you've learned from the past and use them wisely going forward everything is in the power of Scorpio's hands this year everything everything you have the ability and the power to manifest but don't think that just because things start manifesting Scorpio that it's a done deal it takes you to start acting and working and nurturing that manifestation the universe will give you the leg up but from there it's anybody's game it's a brilliant reading brilliant 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 reading have faith believe that true love exists trust yourself when it comes to your perception and your intuition on those who come into your life in 2018 because there will be positive recognition and people are going to love you for who you are it's wonderful wonderful reading Scorpio that's your love reading and how to find real love in 2018 uh, I will see you guys might do a live spread I don't know because these are two big readings that I've already done for you guys okay but yeah that's your love reading and your how to uh, achieve the best for yourself in 2018 and i will see you guys possibly i'm not going to do an end of i don't think i'm going to do a uh, a two weekly end of two week reading because these have been so big so probably february next when i see you guys okay speak to you soon scorpio love you take care